Hi there everybody, this is Mary Kirby and I mm, just returned home to a winter wonderland in Pennsylvania after visiting with Bombardier in Montreal. But before I get started on my snow angels here, I wanted to tell you about the aircraft that I saw. It's the CRJ-1000. It's Bombardier's new 100 seat regional jet and I got a chance to climb aboard uh, a Brit Air uh, CRJ-1000 that's just about to be delivered to the Air France subsidiary. Um, I got to see the new cabin, get inside the cockpit and have a great conversation with a Bombardier executive uh, about all the new bells and whistles for the CRJ-1000. So check it out. This is a, a hundred seats then? This is exactly 100 seats. Exactly 100 seats. And Brit Air still, do they distinguish then with respect to first class? Yes. They do, so it's, it's, it's the same seating but what, they get more seat pitch I'd imagine? Uh, Up front not even, or no? They just get better even, service. In Europe, if you fly business class, what you'll be offered is a priority boarding, right. and you'll be offered free drink, free meals, and you know everything you Maybe want. Maybe a glass of champagne. Compared right. to the the poor people flying in the back <laughs> and economy class seats, which That's will interesting. have possible will have to pay for the beer. The seats are C and C and D Zodiac. Those are B E B E Aerospace oh, Spectrum seats. They went. Um, we have both uh, on the program. Okay. We've been working a long time with BE Aerospace. Yeah. And uh, a bit more recently, CND has also developed a seat of their own. Okay. So we're off. We're offering both to our customers. Okay. At so the end they of the can day, choose it's a customer either one. Selection. Okay. Yeah. And if a customer then wanted to do something outside that catalog, they're on their own. They they can go yes. and do a retrofit. And yes. I, I noticed, and I have to ask that that in-flight entertainment is on offer. As, or an, as, could, an feature, as an optional yes. feature, as an feature with what manufacturer? We do this with Thales. Thales. Yes. Is the uh, is the is the option just just Thales? The only one I have been able to do so far is yeah. Thales. Yes, okay. that's the only one we certified. Um, so it's an individually mounted seat back uh, TV screen okay. with audio video on demand. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Not something that is very popular with regional operators. Right. It's a fairly expensive system. It's heavy as well. So right. it cuts in your payload and on a short flight anyway, I think the, uh, you know, you wouldn't be able to watch a, a movie on a, an hour and five minutes, an hour, ten minute flight. So you could have short segments and so on. So I don't know if the regional airlines really recognize the value yeah. on a shorter flight. Right. So with the, with the likes of Delta kind of setting the standard with in-flight connectivity on the regional jets, do you foresee offering that as an option? This is something we're very interested in, okay. absolutely. In okay. fact, we've already started talking to Delta about that, that future need. Oh, wonderful. Now, for some reason, being able to access internet from your own device in our view, seems to be much more on demand than just watching uh, TV or or reruns of. Uh, that's where the future is. Uh, I think that's think? where the future because the people can then they can stay connected to the office mm -hmm. using their their uh, computer, or they can actually surf the net and do what they want. Yeah, right? they can play games, they can watch videos, or so. The internet approach, I think, offers a lot more value for the public. Okay. I personally see, I think, that Delta is going in the right direction and will want to follow suit. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Do you mind if I check out the, the right lavatory? Yeah. yeah, go right ahead. It's a two lavatory airplane. Check it out. Definitely more spacious than than your regular uh, CRJ, isn't it? And look, you can have a nice baby changing table right there. Baby is happy. Much larger. Much larger. More spacious. Yes. Bathroom. Because we have two versions of the bathroom. We have this larger one. Yeah. And we have a smaller one, uh, which you'll see in the front. Okay. The is the latch different on this is this a new latch or is this the this is this is the next gen bin right? yeah that's the next so, gen bin so you're right if you look at the environment the cabin windows are taller yeah as we've said so we've gained two inches on top yeah and we've also designed the sidewall panel so that we can completely recess the shade 
Ah. In most airplanes, the shade comes up, but it usually blocks the top of the window. Right. In our design, it opens it goes the complete all the way window up. area. Oh, and that and that's next gen for all all the. That's the next gen feature. Yeah. Absolutely, this very nicely sculpted uh, sidewall. We've also increased the side of the bin, so the the bin size have actually been changed. We have a double bin system, like this, which has been designed for the ah. exact length of two carry-on bags. Okay. The design of the bin and the door has been redone, and the interior volume here is about 10% bigger than what we used to have. Now, the other thing we did is we did the lighting completely brand new. I don't know if we see this here. Yeah, you can see here that the lighting strip for the cabin is those new LED lights. Yeah. So low energy light emitting diode. Uh, they take less electricity. You can see how bright the cabin is because it gives you a very nice white, uh, you know, very clear color. Yeah. And um, and then we've put those accent lights for uh, night flying. So if you're going to dim, I'm gonna have to go to the back to light this up. Oh, okay. If you're going to dim the cabin lighting at night, you can still leave a very subdued, um, lower lighting level so people can relax and you're not completely in the dark. Oh, gotcha, so go gotcha. Oh, nice. Now you see the way this is designed, it also lights up the latches on all the bins. Oh, okay. So you're coming into the cabin and you can, you can immediately go to your seat, your seat number and your, your bin door because there's a bit of an accent lighting to it. Wonderful. It's very nice. It is very nice. And I, I love the color scheme that, that Bridera has chosen. Yeah, it's very it's, light. It's very modern looking. Yeah. So the only difference really you're going to notice in a 1000 yeah. is that I have the new FMS is an LCD screen. These are CRT tubes. Okay. They're like television tubes. Yeah. This is an LCD screen. Yeah. And this is an LCD screen. So that's how you know you're in a 1000. This is the brand new radios, you know, the new digital radios I talked about. Yes. And this is the newest FMS configuration, which the FMS looks the same as the old one, but it has this new screen. And it has all the new capability with coupled VNAV and LPV and okay. WAS, etc. Et uh, electronic flight bag right here? They're right there. Okay. Who, put out, put. who did you say provides the EFB? The EFB comes from CMC Electronics. Ah, right, right, right. It's an Esther line company. Okay. It's based in Montreal. And they've been working with Bombardier on, on business jets products for a number of years. Huh. Okay. So this is really a, um, it's a little computer. Oh, excellent. It has a full keyboard in it as well that you can use. You can see that it's heavier than an iPad or, right. or an right. equivalent commercial grade because it's very sturdy, actually, to be installed. But um, the customers have the, pap the capability to lock by, by adding an additional set screw in the back. People won't be able to take it okay. off. Okay. So depending whether you want to let your people use them right. or you want them fixed on the airplane, you have the ability to do this through the mount. Uh, so when I was recently visited Lufthansa and we were talking yeah. earlier, and the pilots do take them on and off. One of one of the uh, one of the interesting things that they said is that by having this type of class, and this is a class two. That was a class two. Two yeah. EFB. It it means that when you want to upgrade, you don't have to. Like You're right. tear out a big section. This is this is installed as a fully independent system okay. to any of the aircraft avionics. Gotcha. It has no interface with the airplane. Right. It can get kind of uh, interesting then if you guys ultimately do offer an in-flight connectivity solution then there are things that you could do with yes. respect to the real-time well, uh, mapping. and. Absolutely. Yeah. The beauty of this is that it is fully capable of G3 okay. uh, telephone technology. Okay. So a lot of the uh, my customers at the moment are looking at ways where when the airplane will be coming in at their gate at the base and they have uh, a new schedule or a, a, a notice to give to the crew about a new destination or whatever you, they'll be able to, as the airplane gets to the gate, it's going to pick up exactly like uh, wireless, right? Yeah. It's going to pick up the latest message and they'll get their new routing or new information. They don't, they don't need to call back and, and get instructions. Wonderful. They can do that electronically. So there's all kinds of ideas now that are being pulled together. Can we do weight and balance this way? Can we do passenger manifest? Can we do 
special meal instructions. I mean, right. there's all kinds of connections. Time. 